Let me show you on this video why you need to dump your traditional storage systems and jump to sync. They have a pro teams plans that has unlimited storage. Yes, that's right. Unlimited storage and it's not crazy expensive. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? I'm going to show you why sync is a great option, especially if you grab the pro teams plans that has unlimited storage. Now, if you're not ready for a paid plan, they do have a free plan that you want to check out. Now, the reason that you want to have unlimited storage is because you forget about how much a file weighs. You don't care because you have unlimited storage. Now, if you jump into the team's plans, basically you have a lot of flexibility. You can share files between each other and have all that collaboration done together. Now, I'm going to show you that on this video and how you can connect your device and start backing up your media files from your phone also. So let me jump into my sync account. Here it is. And the, the idea of sync account, like I said, is to have your files stored here. Now, if you check out my panel here, you're going to see that it has unlimited. So right now I'm using 1.9 gigabytes of unlimited storage. So basically, I don't care how much I actually upload because I have unlimited. Now, the main focus of the team's plans is obviously collaboration. So in this case, I've created two folders that I collaborate. These files are my own and these I collaborate. So I created company one and company two just for testing purposes. And I've uploaded one file that we can collaborate with any team member that's connected to this folder. Now to add members, well, go into manage share folder. And in this section, I'm able to select who can view and what permissions that they have right here, or if I need to add a user to this particular folder. Now I can set the permissions for this particular user so they can view, edit and see others but they can invite someone to this folder and they can add apps to this. So all of that with these options. And if I need to add someone, just do it here via email. OK, and I can remove users if I don't want to allow them anymore. So let's just say that the team member is not with us anymore. So goodbye. You have that options there. And obviously you can just upload files by dragging them inside. So if I want to drag something like this image, I'll just drag it here and it's going to start uploading really quickly. OK, boom. I just uploaded this file and it's available for team members. Now, with each one of these files, we have a ton of options. So let me go back into my main file section and let's just say that I want to share this particular image. So I'll go into this option here. I can manage the link. So if I click here, I've already shared this. So I got I got a particular link right here that I can share and someone can actually view it, download it, etc. If I allow that and I got sharing settings. So I have here I can set a password, set the label for it, expire, expiration date, file permissions, etc. And a whole lot more. OK. Now, if I want to share another file, I'll just go click on share, share as a link. Boom, it's created and I can start sharing it and then go into the link settings if I need to add a password, something like that, or send it over via link. So it's super easy. Now, what other options do we have? Well, click on here. We got the preview. If you just want to obviously view it, open it up, download it, version history to see what's going on with the history of this, rename it, copy, duplicate or move it to another folder. So if I want to move it to my vault, I can do so from here or I can go ahead and delete it if I don't want to view it anymore. Now, in this case, you got unlimited storage. So basically you need you don't need to clean up. But if you do, well, you have that option. There's also the vault option. So if you want to upload files here or move files over here, they won't be synced between the other devices and you can keep them right here. OK, there's also the sharing so I can view the team shares. So if I share something with the teams, I can view it here or the particular links. So only the shared with links files are going to be visible here. And there's also the shared externally. Here we go with company is one of them that I've shared externally. There's also the events. There's a history of everything that's going on from uploads, deletions, adding to team members, etc. All the information is going to be here and we can also view the users right here. So all the users from the admins, the roles, etc. We're going to be able to view them here. Now, aside from all this, well, we can sync our desktop. In this case, I have the Mac app, Mac app installed, but you can also install the Windows app. So in this case, I've already installed it and I have my synced folder and all I have to do is just drag files here and they're going to be up automatically uploaded into sync. So that means that I don't have to go open up the tab for sync and use this. So all I have to do is just drag the files into that folder and I'm able to sync them with sync.com. OK, so it's super easy. Now, when it comes to the phone app, I really love this feature because it automatically uploads my images and videos. That way they're automatically backed up. Now, let me show you that. So this is my phone right here and I already have the sync app installed. So I'm going to click on the sync app. And you're going to be able to view that I have. I can view the same files that I have on my desktop and on my app. Here we go. Here's the files. I can go ahead and click on the plus button and go ahead and upload something or take a picture and go ahead and upload it automatically or create. OK, now in this case, like I said, we're able to back up. So let me click on the options right here. Go into settings. And the first thing that you want to do is go into image settings, camera upload settings. 
and I'm able to enable camera upload, only upload on Wi-Fi, include videos, organize camera uploads folders. So that means it's going to create a folder every month. So it organizes it automatically and it's going to start syncing. So if I take a picture right now, it's going to automatically sync it to my camera uploads. This is the folder right here. And it's the same files that I have on my camera. These are just tests and these actually were images sent to me. So I'm able to view them right here automatically. So it's super easy to use. Now, like I said, sync is a great option, especially if you are on the team plans with unlimited storage, it's a must get. You forget about how much your file weighs. And if you can sync everything that's on your desktop, you can sync everything on mobile, it's definitely worth getting it. So if you wanna check it out, link we provided in the description and there's a special discount that I wanna provide here in the description. And that's a wrap for sync.